All right, what's up, you guys? So, this video applies to the Steel FS56 and the Steel FS70. R, RC, whatever the heck it is. Okay, as you guys know, these newer ones do not have grease fittings. Compared to the FS111 RX, which is what I got here. It's got one. Well, anyways, I'm going to show y'all. Because y'all y'all are looking at this. You're probably scratching your heads, you know. Well, what the hell am I going to do? How am I going to grease my gearbox? Am I just going to go till it run? No. I'm going to show y'all. So, you actually have to take this gearbox off. I'm going to take it apart for you guys. And show y'all how to do it. So, what you want to do, you know, turn your weeder on whatever side you prefer putting it on. You got this T27 right here. You want to take it out. And that, tweet on, that T27 holds the guard on. Now, as you can see, the guard is now off. Now, right here, there is another T27. You want to just loosen it. There. See that? Then, the gearbox will slide off. See that? Look at all that nice, yummy grease. That's good. That's what you want. I'm going to show you, though. So, inside here, you can see the square hole. That square hole leads straight into your gearbox. So, you take it and you pump it with your preferred grease. Lucas Red and Tacky, whatever. Put a couple pumps in there. You can use a syringe. I was able to use my grease gun. Whatever. You just got to... It's not a grease fitting. It's just where this cable fits. And you just grease her up, literally. Once you get it to your preferred mount, this is going to feel tight spinning it. That's okay. Once you uh, put it on the weeder and use it once, it'll free up, as you can see. It spins nice and easy. Okay? Gearbox is greased. That's how you do it. Now, put it back together. It's just reversed how you took it off. I hope you know how to do it, but I'm going to do it so I can show y'all. Okay, just line it up. That looks pretty good. Just tighten that T27 on the gearbox. Gearbox is on. Now all you gotta do is put the guard on. And you just simply... Burp. Gearbox is on. Now I'm gonna make sure it's sitting straight. And it is. It's gonna sound like brand new. So, that's how you do it. That's how you extend the life of your gearbox. Do it on your yearly maintenance. Do it on your third year of owning it like I did because I just figured this out. So, yeah, that's it. Peace out, y'all. Hope this helped.